your transformation, your capacity to be able to transform, your capacity to be able to change, has more so to do with the effort and the act of unlearning than it is to learn. You have to make space in your life for new information. Because a lot of times, it is the old program, the old information, the old habits that are blocking you. When I always, I always say this, in order for you to attain anything great in your life, you have to first determine what you're going to give up. Because it's the things that you hold dear that are blocking you from the things that you want. Your bad habits, okay, your eating habits, your thoughts that prevent you from doing things, even your limiting mindset about who you are and what you can accomplish. You actually have to relinquish those things first before you can even conceive the idea of being more, getting more, doing more, doing differently. Okay? And so when it comes down to transformation, it's almost, it, 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 it is more important for you to figure out what it is that you need to give up, what it is that you need to change, what it is that you need to unlearn. Okay? And so you have to find out the things that are holding you back. And for a lot of people, that's the hardest thing, to be able to admit, acknowledge, recognize, identify the things that have been holding them back and say, I have to stop doing this. I have to stop thinking this way. I have to stop believing this old mindset of what I am, who I am, what I'm capable, what I'm not capable of and embrace a new idea, open myself up to a new idea of who I can be, who I should be, who I have the capacity to be. And then when you do that now, put in the action and live up to it. Okay? So this transformation process that we talk about, once again, is about a shift first in mindset. People always think the transformation is, oh, the things that you do. No, you have to shift your mindset. All right? I know a lot of people who even throughout the course of trying to transform, they're constantly fighting themselves because they truly do not believe that they're capable, worthy, able, or are the people that they're even claiming they're trying to be. Because you can claim it out of your mouth all you want, but if you don't believe it, if you have not truly thought about it, believed it and relinquished all the things that have held you back, the ideas, the habits, the, the, uh, the mindset that has held you back from being able to do those things, we're wasting time, okay? We're wasting time. And so a lot of times when I talk to people, one of the first things that we discuss is, well, what do you believe your problem is? Or well, I actually ask them, what have they done in the past? What happened? Why did that happen? And somehow you draw it out of them because people have to understand that they have been their own impediment. I can show you stuff, right? But you have to get over yourself. You have to get over your limits. You have to relinquish those things that have held you back. You have to stop thinking in the way that has put you where you are and start thinking in a new way that's going to move you to where you claim you want to be. So the biggest part of transformation is the unlearning, the relinquishing of the old ideas. The biggest part of the transformation that you have to figure out is what is it that you need to or have to give up to be able to transform and be this new person. Okay? And I went through it myself, you know, um, the limiting beliefs, all right? And I talk about this all the time, especially when, you know, I, I have a, a couple of pages that I follow, you know, um, and uh, one, of my, one of my favorite pages is Fly Ageless. Um, it's a community for people over 40. But the one problem that I have with Fly Ageless is that they perpetuate this idea. And it comes across as a joke. But it's not funny because what it does, it, re it reinforces bad programming. That somehow, when you hit 40, you're supposed to be of some kind of diminished physical capacity. And my mother always used to say, facts come through jokes. Okay? 
And after a while, you hear that, you hear that, you hear that. A lot of people start hearing it when they're in their early 30s, okay? And even 20s, we believe that, oh, you know, when you get 40, you, you know, that's, the begin, that's, the, that's the decline, that's the beginning of the end of the road, you know? And you get programmed to that. So as you start to approach that age, guess what happens? The moment your body starts to wane a little bit, the moment thing, oh, well, you accept it. You accept it as this is normal as opposed to I need to address this. And you constantly let the decline happen under the guise of, well, this is what's supposed to happen. You have set a limit for your vitality at about 40. So you expect that your vitality is supposed to decrease, diminish, get less after 40. And one of the things that I did is that I stopped believing that. You know, that, that, that video that I made, uh, my first viral video that I made in 2017, um, it did over 100 million views. And one of the lines that I said in there is like, who said that because you're a certain age, you can't run a mile in six minutes? Where is that written? Where is that a law? Where is that a rule? It is not a rule. It's just what you've accepted. You've accepted it because so many people have said it and you just said, mm, okay, did you ever test it out yourself? Did you try to test it out? Did you try to dispute that? No, you didn't. You just accepted it. The same way we accept other limiting beliefs. The same way we accept other lies that hold us back. The same way we embrace everything in our lives that have limited us. Okay? And guess what? Once you embrace it, now it's fact. It's your fact. Despite the fact that you see me doing quite the opposite. You see me at my age this year, actually, I am actually one of the, I, I am actually stronger now and more fit now than I was in my 20 years ago in my mid-30s. Why? Because I chose to be. Why? Because I believed I could be. Why? Because I didn't accept the limitations that you accepted. I didn't accept the limitations that everybody else who was 40 years old accepted. I decided that I was going to be more fit in my 50s than I was in my 50s than I was in my 40s. I had to unlearn because there was a certain point in time when I was in my 30s, I started to believe that. You know, I had a little knee pain, a little hip pain. I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm getting older. And then one day I woke up and I'm like, nah, nah, I'm better than this. I'm, I'm honest with you. This is the exact words I said. I am better than this. And my exact thought was I did not know how good or how much better. But I knew when I made a determination that day that I was better than where I was that day. I had no limits of where I was going. Right? But I knew that where I was was not it. And every single day, I set a new goal. When I set the goal, I hit the goal. Okay, well, that apparently was not my limit. So I set a new goal. And I hit that goal. That's not my limit. And I kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going. And I have kept going over the last two decades. Why? Because I unlearned. All the things that have been handed to me, taught to me, that I, let's be real, I voluntarily accepted at one point in time. I had the capacity to challenge my own beliefs of who I was and who I was told I was supposed to be and better yet, who I thought I was not. Okay? For many a years, I believed that I was not someone who liked to be on camera. I don't like taking pictures. I still don't like taking pictures, frankly. But, you know, um, but I shied away from all pictures. That's why a lot of times uh, 
uh, I don't have any flashback, I don't have many flashback pictures. Why? Because I always stayed away from pictures. Didn't like taking pictures, didn't like being on camera. I was a behind the scenes kind of guy. Okay? All my businesses I run, I ran from behind the scenes. You know, my, my favorite word, my favorite uh, uh, term was, if you know, you know, if you don't know, even better. I didn't want everybody to know I was in charge. Okay? But, one of the things that I learned is I learned the power of being able to adapt, transform, and recognize opportunity. And when opportunity presented itself in a particular way to me, although at, I believed at one point in time that this wasn't for me and this wasn't for me and this wasn't for me, right? I took on the task and said, you know what? Maybe I should step in front of the camera a little bit and let's do a little bit more. And while I'm doing it, let's get good at it. Okay? And I kept working and working and working and that's where we are right now. They say opportunity belongs to those who can recognize it before it becomes obvious. Your transformation is going to be largely dictated on your ability to relinquish your limits and recognize those opportunities. Recognize the places where you can grow. And the truth is we can grow in every single facet of our lives if only we allow ourselves to do that. But who stands in your way? You. You and your limits. You and your incapacity and unwillingness to relinquish or pay the cost. And what is the cost? Give up your bad habits. Give up your limiting beliefs. Give up the ideas that you had about what you were and who you were not. You have to let go of who you have been in the past and actually reach out and grasp who you can be. Stop being so proud of who you are. Think about who you can be. One of the most detrimental things, that's who I've always been. <laughs> Let go of that. All right? Let go of that. Because I realized that who I had always been would never have gotten me where I am today. I had to embrace new ideas, change my perspective, question my beliefs, challenge all, every single limit I thought I had. And the funny thing is, every time I challenged a limit, I realized it wasn't really a limit. It was just a barrier that I had put up. Okay? Yeah, you have to overcome that pride and stubbornness. Yeah. You know, um, one of the biggest impediments to a lot of people as we age is we get to the point where we think we know everything. Okay? We get to the point where we believe we know everything. You know? And the truth is that if you're not learning every single day, that means you're regressing. If you're not improving, you're regressing. That is life, okay? The day you stop growing is the day you start dying. You're just like a tree. Believe it or not, a tree grows every freaking day. No matter whether it's a hundred year old tree or not, it still grows. You know how? Because it has to shed old leaves to make room for new leaves. If you're not shedding old beliefs, if you're not shedding old mindsets, if you're not adding to your flora, if you will, if you're a plant, right? That means you're dying. Ask yourself, how have I grown this year? What do I know today that I didn't know? How has my mindset, my perspective, my outlook, how has that grown? Start with yourself. Okay? And you will find that at every point where growth is necessary, you will realize the thing and the person that has stunted that growth for the 
for the longest has been you. It's an empowering thing though. Because once you actually embrace that, you realize that you are unlimited because all you have to do is you have to take off all the things that you have limited yourself about. Your capacity, your mindset, your dreams, your ambitions. And we accept these lesser, these lesser versions of ourselves. Why? Because it's comfortable. It's comfortable to accept it. Why is it comfortable? Because once you accept the limit, that means, well, I'm at it right now, so I don't have to do anything. This is the best I can do. Is it? There are many a times where I question myself, can I do more? Man, you know, you've done so much already, can I do more? And every single time I say, well, let's try this. Let's, let's, let's see what we can do. Okay, you know, I, I, as my word, we always say, I just for shits and giggles, let's see if I can do this. You know, when I set that goal to squat 225, 50 times, it was, it was just one of those things where let's see if I can do it. Have you ever tried it? No, you never tried it. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. What's the worst? You fail? And I look up my, oh, damn. You know, let's see if we can forge into a new place in business. Has anybody else ever done it this way? No, not that I've seen, but you know what? What's the worst? You fail, you fail. You didn't like never failed before. I tried. Boom. Oh, man. And once you get there, then you see all the different possibilities. Why? Because now your perspective went from here to here. So now you can see clearer. Now you can see different avenues. And how did it all start? By questioning what you thought was possible in the beginning. By challenging what you thought was possible, what you were told was possible. <clears throat> I was told point blank that I was stupid and would not succeed at what I'm doing right now. And even at that time, what I thought I could do is less than what I am doing now. Because guess what? When I got to where I thought I could be, my perspective had changed. Why? Because now I realize, oh man, well, now that I'm here, I can see this, this, and this. That's another thing about transformation. That's another thing about growth, especially as you get older. All right. Um, as you grow, as your capacity changes, as your perspective changes, you realize that you're also capable of more, but it won't happen until you get there. It's almost like being on a mountain, right? Or standing on the ground. Okay, when you're standing on the ground street level, you can only see but so far. You get about 10 feet up, you can see more. You get 20, 30 feet up, guess what? You see more. And every time you challenge and you increase your capacity, you can increase your possibilities, you can increase your options, you increase your opportunities. None of that happens if you stay on the ground and doubt yourself. Just move up a foot. And the moment you move up a foot, guess what? Everything changes. And you move up another foot, it changes again. It changes again. And that's the thing about growth. That's the thing about taking off that lid, that limit. That's the thing about unlearning all the things that you thought were holding you back and embracing all the things that you want to do. Okay? So the question is, how are you going to transform? What areas in your life are you going to transform? How are you going to challenge yourself? What are you willing to let go of? Because until you let go of those beliefs, those thoughts, those habits, that mindset, you will stay exactly where you are. But the moment you let go, the world's your oyster. Something to think about.